Atlanta is a city that is renowned for both its extensive history and its impact on the future. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in this city of change, and it continues to be a political hotspot in the country's current dialogue. The city has been dubbed the Hollywood of the South, and while this has allowed it to grow swiftly and in interesting ways, it has also allowed for the integration of the natural world's beauty into the city's design. In recent years, upscale hotels, great retail options, and well-planned green spaces have all opened. With options ranging from casual to upscale, Atlanta's eating culture, which has always prioritized locally sourced food, continues to flourish. There is plenty to discover. We have collected all the best 10 things to do in Atlanta, Georgia. So make sure to watch the end to see what we have selected as number one. The Library of Travel is the number one travel channel on YouTube. Our team of dedicated travel junkies will go above and beyond to inform you about your future travel destination, so you can have the best travel experience on your next trip. If you want to be eligible for our $50booking.com voucher giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel and post your next travel destination in the comments. So, without further ado, we will dive right into the video. Number 10. Atlanta Beltline. What originally began as a concept for a doctoral thesis at Georgia Tech has grown to become one of Atlanta's most popular outdoor attractions. Because of the railroads that converged in Atlanta before the Civil War, the city was originally known as Terminus, and this project transforms the old 22-mile railway loop around the downtown area into a multi-use paved route adorned with local plants and artwork. The other portions are high cable, although only the North Side Trail, West Side Trail, East Side Trail, and West End Trail are entirely finished. Once completed, it will link 45 in-town communities, feature 33 miles of multi-use paths, and encompass 2,000 acres of parks, making it one of the biggest and most comprehensive urban regeneration projects in the country. Select an entry point and a destination to create your own shorter loop if you're short on time. For instance, park at Ponce City Market and then stroll north to Piedmont Park before returning, at a leisurely pace, the distance should be covered in less than an hour. Number 9. The Center for Human and Civil Rights. The 2014 opening of this tourist destination in the city honors both the domestic and international human rights movements. The open, contemporary structure was created with lofty architectural features like a transparent glass facade and two strong, curved walls to encourage good deeds. The architects in charge claimed that the National Mall in Washington, D.C., Tahrir Square in Cairo, and Tiananmen Square in Beijing served as inspiration for the design, which was created by design firms HOK and Perkins Plus Will. The museum's interior is divided into three levels, each housing exhibition halls, the 1950s are used as the starting point for a tour of the American Civil Rights Exhibit, which shows how Jim Crow laws and legalized racism affected the country. It examines local struggles for equality and poses concerns about the structures that Americans haven't yet dared to debate. Number 8. Buford Highway. According to Marion Liu, the founder of We Love Buhai, Buford Highway is its multicultural heart if Atlanta is the cultural center of the New South. You may get every type of international cuisine along this busy street, including Vietnamese, Peruvian, Chinese, Malaysian, Korean, Cuban, and Mexican food. As your starting point for exploration, start with Lee's Bakery, one of the few locations where you can have equally outstanding pho and banh mi in a combo. It is typical of many of the hidden treasures found along the way, not flashy, but dang excellent. You just can't go wrong with the crunchy French bread cooked daily in fragrant soup, so we advise getting the combo while you're there. And if you find yourself yearning for anything else from a similarly remote region of the world, just take a drive, Korean at Sokondong Tofu House, Bangladeshi at Panahar, and some of Atlanta's greatest sushi at Sushi Hayakawa are all within striking distance. Number 7. Ponce City Market. The largest brick building in the southeast, measuring a whopping 2.1 million square feet, is home to major retailers, small-town shops, gyms, and more than 20 diverse restaurants and food vendors, including many James Beard award-winning chefs. Whether you want to go shopping in a small boutique, gallery, or larger store, enjoy a meal or drink in the main food hall, or all three, Ponce City Market is a place to go for a good time. A lot of exciting events are put on by management, including cooking lessons, painting and candle making workshops, wine tastings, and others. Additionally, for a nominal cost, 
you may ride a freight elevator to the rooftop, where you can play old-fashioned carnival games and enjoy some of the best skyline views in the city. Number 6. Atlanta Zoo. One of the oldest cultural attractions in the city and one of the best zoos in the nation still in operation, Zoo Atlanta was founded in 1889. There is appeal regardless of whether you enjoy being outside or viewing a certain kind of animal, whether passing through on a solo trip or visiting with your family. The 40 acres it occupies in the Grand Park area are home to more than 1,000 animal residents representing over 200 species. It's notable for having one of the largest populations of great apes in North America as well as one of only three U.S. zoos with giant pandas. You'll also find unusual habitats and regular zoo animals here. Hi there, quick interruption. Our team is working extremely hard to provide you with this quality, well-researched content. You would do us an extreme favor if you can smash up the like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 5. Fox Theater. The city's century-old cinema palace now hosts Broadway tour stops, prestigious bands, and headlining comedians. The Fox Theater is the go-to venue in Atlanta for anything from the B-52s and Chelsea Handler to a summer movie series supported by the city's most well-known local band and the itinerary of Broadway across America touring productions. The Egyptian-inspired arena has Mighty M.O., built in 1929, the largest operational Mahler theater organ in the world. Number 4. Indie Craft Experience. The atmosphere at Indie Craft Experience events is like that of your favorite Etsy page, but better and in person. The Atlanta craft movement has been curated and grown over the course of 10 years by Christy Peterson and Shannon Mulkey. The two bring together makers, remakers, collectors, and individuals who like exchanging DIY goods and sharing the stories and skills behind them at their themed Atlanta making retreats, seasonal pop-up events, and shopping markets. Number 3. World of Coca-Cola. This sparkling museum documents the development of Coca-Cola and the beverage business in general. In the city where Coke was created in 1886 and where the brand's worldwide corporate headquarters is located, it is king and all-pervasive. The world of Coca-Cola is absolutely overwhelming when it comes to dominating the soda universe, living up to its moniker in a pleasant, effervescent, and overly commercialized way. Visit the Pop Culture Museum for D theater shows and DIY beverage fountains that dispense flavors from all around the world, along with replica soda fountains. Are you thirsty? Choose from more than 100 beverages, including both limited editions and all-time favorites. Number 2. Civil Bikes Tours. Get on a Civil Bikes Tour and start riding, it's a surefire way to learn about the places in Atlanta that are brimming with history. Pass by the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Sweet Auburn, where Martin Luther King Jr. and his father delivered decades-long sermons, then cycle back in time to locations associated with the historic civil rights movement to release African-American widow Rosalie Ingram. Number 1. Starlight Drive-In Theater. Locals who are in a committed relationship still adore going on dates at this 1949 Art Deco drive-in. Grab a set of wheels and go over to this vintage drive-in theater to check out the nightly double features and classic Tex-Mex food stand, which also sells sodas, candies, and popcorn. On Saturdays between 6 a.m. and 3 p.m., stop by Starlight for a swap meet packed with Americana items, vintage clothing, records, and some good old people watching. So that was the top 10 things to do in Colorado Springs. Which activity did you like the most? If you have found any value in this video, please consider liking this video and don't forget to subscribe for further videos. If you want us to cover another tourist destination, let us know in the comments. The one with the most mention will be highlighted in one of the next videos. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next library of travel.